We're getting answers for residents in Chinatown after tenants reached out to KHON2 News saying the building manager locks the bathrooms on their floor every night. City officials stepped in saying this is a violation. Max Rodriguez reports. It is not easy for 79-year-old Ruth Ellis to walk up these steep stairs, and she's expected to walk up and down every night to simply use the bathroom. The management of the building in Chinatown Smith Street locks a gate to the bathroom on her floor at night. They've been locked. I mean, you know, they, at 10 o'clock at night or so, they lock them up, and they don't open them up until the morning. So, you know, you have to have a porta potty in your in your room because, you know, you have to go in the middle of the night. Ellis tells me she is recovering from a broken hip. She walks with a cane. A couple of doors down, Shirley Garcia leaves each morning around 5 a.m. for dialysis treatment. She keeps a bucket with water in her room. I, I bring my the water over here inside my room so I can wash my face because I cannot go going in my dialysis without wash my hand like wash my face. Management says they lock bathrooms because of homeless entering and drug activity. We asked the city's Department of Planning and Permitting if this is allowed. They said no. The manager says city inspectors visited the building this morning and let them know that it is a violation to lock the bathrooms. We're trying to make the building safer. And that's what we did, all right? If we knew we were a violation then, we wouldn't have done it. We would have figured out a different way. Ellis, who has lived in the unit since August and pays $850 a month, hoping that with the involvement of the city, the violations will be addressed. Well, hopefully they'll, they'll fix it so the bathrooms aren't locked. It would be nice to have hot water in the sink because that's the only place you have to do dishes. The building manager says bathrooms will remain open 24-7 from now on. Tenants can call about their rights through the state's Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs. Meanwhile, a request for investigation can be submitted to the city's DPP to report concerns about possible building code violations. Max Rodriguez, KH1T News, working for Hawaii.